Hello everyone, welcome to VLSA Academy. This is lecture on power planning in floor planning stage. And today we will understand about routing resources and go ahead with power planning. Power planning involves understanding about routing resources. There are two mainly types of routing resources broadly classified as horizontal and vertical. In horizontal direction, you can have metal layers going over the design or in vertical fashion. Depending on the technology and the type of project that we are working on, the naming convention for the metal layers can vary. For example, here it could be in horizontal starting with M0 and then vertical layer will be M1 and after that it will be M2 and then M3 and then M4 and so on and then it will be M5. In the technology file, metal width and metal resistance are generally mentioned. In general, lowest metal layer is always having the highest resistance and higher metal layers have lower resistance and that can be derived from the fact that higher metal layers have more width and higher metal layers since they have more width the resistance of those metal layers will be comparatively lesser than the lower metal layers and hence the lowest metal layer m0 might be having the highest resistance in technology file each male metal layer is assigned a particular color and let us say assume that you have m6 as highest metal layer and it is in vertical metal so this is vertical then lowest uh, to that will be m5 and it will be second highest. So it will be second highest metal layer and it will be horizontal. Now let us assume that this is M5 and this is your M6. The simplest form of power structure that we can assume will be something like this. It will be overlapping with the lower metal layer like this. Though the power structure can vary based on the project. But let us assume for example this metal layer is your power. So it is VDD and then alternately it will be so let us assume that next is your ground and then next is your VDD. It will run through your design like this and lower metal layer also will be in the similar fashion. So first two top layers would be something running in the design like this. So let us say that this is VDD and then this is ground and then this is VDD. There will be VRs dropped in the power grid to connect the highest metal layer to the second highest metal layer something like this. So VDD will be connected with VDD, ground will be connected with ground and the VRs will be dropped something like this. Let us take this example for sub block configuration of the power. So it will be something looking like this and in this example we have a design created with the power grid. In this example, this outer side is your die and the inner side, this side is your core. The red color one is your horizontal ring running around the design. This is horizontal ring and the yellow one is your vertical ring which is running in your design and that is in the between core to die area. Please note that it is important to understand that ring runs between die to core area spacing. So the space that is between go core to die in that a ring is traveling and that is highlighted in the yellow and red colors and your red is horizontal and yellow is your vertical routing resource. The topmost two layers are your vertical and horizontal routing resource that are used for power routing. So topmost let us assume that it is M6 and uh, second topmost was your M5. So your horizontal is let's say M6. So if the horizontal routing resource is your topmost, so M6 is horizontal and lower to that will be vertical. And in that case, what will happen is your vertical will become M5 and horizontal is your M6. This outermost ring is let's say your power ring and the inner to that one is your ground ring. So power ring will be your VDD and ground ring will be VSS. So this brown colored layer, it will be tapping the power and VIA will be connecting like this and this will be VDD and next to that this one will be your VSS and the tapping will be happening here. So next tapping will be here and here. This one will be of your VDD and the other one will be your VSS. So it will be alternate VDD VSS. So it will be your VDD and then this will be your VSS VDD and then VSS. It will be running across in the design for a vertical routing resource like this. So since it is vertical, it could be either M4 
or it could be your M6. Both are, sorry, this will be your M5 or it will be your M7. Both are your vertical routing resource. So M5 and M7 are vertical. So it brown will be either M5 or M7. It will be depending on the project. Then similar fashion, your tapping will be happening in the purple layer also. It will be either in M4 or it will be in either M6. So it could be topmost tapping or second to topmost in the horizontal. So this one marked as here, it will be a weird dropping. It will be again a weird dropping and it will be since this is inner one. So our inner one is ground. So this is your ground tapping. This one is your power tapping. As we understood that ring is nothing but the routing that is going on between die to core spacing. Similar to that, we have something called as grid. So this which we explained just now is your grid that runs in your core, which is in the top two layers. So grid is running in the core between two top two layers. But there is something more and that is called as standard cell rails. So what happens is your lowest metal layer is generally having the standard cell rails. It could be M2 or it could be M0 or it could be any layer which is chosen by the technology, which is chosen by your power team for drawing the standard cell rails and stand power hookup happens in the standard cell rails. And from there, a via ladder is connected to the topmost two layers. So what happens is let us assume that you have your standard cell rail in your M2. So it will be M2 VDD and then M2 VSS and your M2 is horizontal. Now in this case, what will happen is your standard cell will sit and it will connect the power from these two rails. And from there, a VDD, then next M3 will be connecting a via ladder. So there will be M3 and then M4 and then M5 and then M6. So there will be a via ladder which will going to be connected from M2 till your topmost layer comes up top to most layers where your power mesh or the power grid is created and that is the complete structure of power mesh or power grid in the core that is all for this video please like share and subscribe to the channel and give your important feedback in the comment section thank you